guys. I am at the Pontiac and Oakland Museum. And this is in Pontiac, Michigan. Mahindra. Why is this here? Anyway, um, this is a relatively new museum. This only opened about, I don't know, maybe a year, year and a half ago. Which, which is kind of shocking because you would think in Michigan there would have been a Pontiac Museum many decades ago. That's a clean 82. Uh, anyway, so what's interesting is this is actually like an old elementary school or a high school. It's, it's a school though. It's From the outside it's definitively a school building and they've repurposed it as a museum which is interesting because it's right in a residential neighborhood. Nineteen twelve Flanders electric. See, Tesla did not invent anything. Okay, now this is one of the interesting cars here. Check out this concept, Sunfire. This looks so much better than the actual Sunfire. This is like way better than the actual Sunfire. Corvette powered Solstice. This is pretty cool. That's interesting. A pretty radical Fiero. I like this old logo. I don't, I don't remember what this brand was, but I, I like it. this thing the Vixen 21 TD well wow, what an absolute monstrosity Vixen Motors I've never heard of this it's amazing how much stuff you find out at these obscure museums there's always something you never knew existed it's pretty 70s shagtastic. Yeah, I wanted to come here last year, but just couldn't make it. But, uh, I mean, I would imagine in the 60s, 70s, and even 80s, uh, I mean, Pontiac had a pretty diehard following. But what I've been told is that the when they still made a Pontiac V8, the Pontiacs as opposed to the Chevys and the Oldsmobiles and Buick V8s, the Pontiacs had some sort of, uh, how should I say, like a structural weakness. They were not as strong. And so for racing purposes, they didn't last or were a lot more problem prone than their other GM counterparts. is a 100% original car. It is an unrestored original Granville. Wow. It's too bad it's such an <laughs> ugly color. I looked at buying a Granville convertible once. Wish I would have bought it in retrospect.
I always like these wire wheels that they came with. I always thought these looked so nice. So still, uh, I wish they made reproductions of these. That would be nice. So have you been here before? Uh, no, first time. No. Did, I mean, do you need anybody telling you? No, 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 I'm good. Okay. I'm good to go. Thank okay. you. That's interesting, a 1931 Flathead V8. Now see, if you look at this, and you look at the Ford Flathead V8, this is literally like twice the size. It's a much, much bigger Flathead V8. And it looks like... I don't know, maybe the block is cast in multiple pieces, I'm not sure. And this is an Oakley V8. I don't see many Oakland vehicles. I'm not sure what's going on with this wheel though. And that's about it. It's a very so, small museum. This, the last car story kind of began recently for us.